Nathan, first of all, just a quick word on the cup draw. Crawley away in the third round. Yes, yeah, uh, look, it'd be a tough draw. As you, as you can see, they, they beat Norwich uh, in midweek. It's a ground I know well. Obviously, we've, I came across them a, a few times in my first year when, when we were at, uh, at Luton, and it's always a tough place to go. I'd rather be going there in uh, in, in September than than March and, and February. I can tell you that. But uh, no, it can be tough, tough tie. Um, any 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 tough t any any cup tie in English football is is tough regardless. So you'll have to do do the right things. And uh, as I said, it's uh, no, I'm I'm reasonably happy with it because obviously it's a, it's a very winnable tie, and I don't mean many disrespect in that. Um, but it'll be prepared in the right way. And you guess you'll approach the game in the right way and a third successive tie away from home? I have that record to be honest with you. When I was you know, at my previous club, I, we loved an away tie. Um, so I think it's me who follows me around. Um, but no, look, we, you'd, you'd rather, I, I, I would rather that than, than a championship side, for example, because there's a little bit, I know I, I say this about the FA Cup, really it's a bit more romance, sort of, you know, about a cup tie, feels like a cup tie, Wigan away, feels like another championship game, Leeds away feels like another championship game and uh, we'd like something different to so a Premier League or a lower league club would have you know, whet the appetite far more than another championship tie. Well after a <coughs> dramatic event of Tuesday night, what's training been like today? Lads got a spring in the step? Well look, there's, there's a better atmosphere around because results do that, you know, we've, we've analysed it, we've watched the game back and I, I think we were, we were just a little unfortunate on things that are going that way at the minute because First half, I thought we were excellent. I really did. We, you know, to go away and do what we did to a, to a t tough side of Leeds. Second half, Leeds controlled the possession, but t until the error, we didn't look like conceding, and we were managing the game very well. And you know, and, and we, we played the structure. Then things changed, and ta football, you know, football games and cup ties changed, and then the atmosphere. Cause it was a fantastic atmosphere. It was a great game. Um, and then, you know, we, in the end, we did well to see it out and win on pens. So. It generated a real, real good atmosphere and a good feel because there was a lot of positives to come from it. The negatives were we did concede too, but that's the type of form we're in. Every little minor thing that's happening to us. I mean, we we looked at the chances back, and there's a lot that bobble and fall in Leeds's box, and lucky, luckily, it falls to those. Lucky for them, that's not happening to us at the minute. So, so we're having to earn everything and having to really batten down the hatches not to concede. So, we're hoping that's going to turn, but we can only turn it ourselves. Have you now got food for thought in terms of your team selection for the weekend? I've, I've always got that really because it's, it's, a, it's a strong squad and it's, it's not, you know, some people do it differently, you know, some people go with a real strong 15, 16 and they know what's going to happen. We, we don't because we know it's a long season where we compete on all levels, we treat every competition the same so we know we need that strong squad and, and we have that. So I've got food for thought every week um, but look, this. I, what I want is is, a, is standout individuals to really stand out basically and say no, this is my position, and then that's when we can really generate competition. You gave Adam Federici an opportunity last week, and Jack obviously returned in midweek and kind of became the hero, didn't he, in the ninety minutes? I guess that selection in particular on Saturday is what many people will be focusing on. Yeah, but I don't think you should. Be, uh, we should be focusing on that. Look, if if people play well, they play. I don't I don't generally pick people. Um, if they're not in good form and, 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 and so on. Jack, look, Jack's shown amazing character and that's why I'm really pleased with, with him. Um, he showed a great attitude. He always shows a great attitude, to be honest with you. It's slightly easier when you're playing well and playing every week, I, I understand that, but he showed what, what a good professional he is. And then he really showed top character. To, you know, for the goalkeeper to take a penalty, it does anyway. But for, to take the final one in front of the Leeds end when they've been getting you know, a hell of a lot of stick, um, it showed a real character. So I'm, look, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really pleased with him. But we've got good competition here. So whoever we pick on on Saturday, um, it will be a, you know, it be the right choice, we believe. What kind of game are you expecting in Birmingham? A tough one again. A championship game. Tough game. They've uh, had a decent start. You know, they've they've won two. They've um, drawn one. Um, so they've had a better start than us. Um, I've watched all five of their games and. I wouldn't actually say their performances were better than ours, but they've got the points. So um, it's a tough one whether you drop the performances for the points. You probably swap the points for to probably breed a bit of confidence. But our performances haven't been, apart from second half at Leeds and, and Preston, haven't been bad performances. So it's going to be a tough tie, be a tough game, um, but we go there in, in good spirits. 
there's one thing for certain in your last few games you've been creating plenty of chances and that must be pleasing look if, if you look at we created on the on the, over the 90 minutes we created 11 or 12 against QPR we created 15 against Charlton we created 22 against Wigan we created nearly 19 against um, against Derby um, we actually created probably with seven or eight against Preston but things didn't go against it so that, I don't think that's been the problem one has been our conversion rate and then it's been about we having to chase games because we've we've usually conceded the first goal now if we don't do that and take one of our chances which isn't too much to ask if we eradicate errors take one chance we'll be a different it'll be, it'll be a different league and or we'll be in a different you know we'll be in a different position and that's what we've got to concentrate on. Performance level has been good, but we can't keep saying that because they have, you know, they have. Then we've got to take a chance, <coughs> eradicate errors. We'll be a decent side. It's been asked to go into the international break with your first league win under the belt, wouldn't it? It will, and because it's, it, it can be a long two weeks otherwise and, uh, of pondering and so on. So no, it, uh, it, we we want to for for all the reasons because we want to get three points because we want to you know win away because we we want to get our first one, but. It, you know, God willing, that would lift us from the position we're in. And for the supporters, a Midlands derby always adds a bit of spice to the occasion. Yeah, and, and look, our, our fans have been superb, uh, home and away. Um, the away ones have been really vocal and vociferous. So you know, all the way down to Charlton, uh, they, they they were brilliant. Uh, even to Preston and and Leeds on a Tuesday night with all the traffic problems. So I'm very proud of them, and uh, and, uh, and I said hopefully we'll have a good following again. Um, and Birmingham is always a good, a good place to uh, to play football, whichever club you play. And just finally from me, a word about Jack. He's set to miss out on the England squad, which he's announced very shortly. He can bounce back though, can't he? Look, I, it's, it's maybe not my place to, to comment on that. All I can say is Jack, Jack Butland's you know, a fantastic goalkeeper for Stoke City and that's all we want to concentrate on a bit at, at the minute. If, if that has happened, then then fine. It'll give him a chance to, to rest up, to ponder, to, to, to maybe clear his head a little bit and to come back with, with added vigour. Now, if we have a really motivated Jack Butland, then, then that's much, much better for Stoke City. So I, I, you know, I hope he doesn't because we're proud of our internationals. But if that's the case, then, then fine. But let's, let's concentrate on getting Jack playing well for, for Stoke. Is there any uh, injury problems for the weekend after the results at Leeds? We've had a couple of knocks really. Um, Nathan Collins has had a had a knock. Uh, ironically, he didn't actually play any minutes, but uh, he's had uh, uh, a muscle problem with his with his leg, so he he, he could be a doubt. Um, so, but we'll see. Everyone else, you know, with a lot of people have played a lot of minutes, and people like Lucas and things like that have done big shifts in both games. So, um, we we'll have to see how they are. Um, but no, we're in we're in decent shape, and we've got good numbers and with Bruno and Badu coming back in. Probably a little heavy on numbers, if I'm honest. You talked about uh, buying leaders and bringing leaders into the squad, and after the the league match against Leeds, um, there's reportedly been a few words spoken in the dressing room. I'm assuming they were all leaders that came out and put their hands up and said we're going to change things. Yeah, and and the, the big thing is, a lot has to change. Big things have to change because of where we are, the club we are, and so on. But when you analyse everything, there's not masses wrong because. Between both boxes, we're an excellent side. To be fair, we're probably scoring enough to win games. If we scored even more, then we'd win and be be very dominant. But what's happened is, when we we haven't scored, then we've conceded, and then when we have scored, we've conceded even more. So those things we have to we have to stop. And it's it's they're big things, but they're it's tweaks. Individual errors, you cut those up. You don't continue to do those over a season, so it's those that that perspective has to be put on it. But we, you know, we had a, we had a few meetings this week. Um, yeah, people have spoke. But what we said is, look, we'll take everything step at a time. We wanted that Monday. We set our goals this week. Go to Leeds, and by hook or by crook to get through the tie, and we did. And by hook or by crook, we got through the tie. But. I was very pleased with lots of it because to go to Leeds and do what we did in the first half and to contain them for such a long period of time was was was, was a good was a good bonus point for us. Then we showed Rio Carter and we got thrown pens, which was a miracle considering our penalty record. So now phase one of that is done. So now we've had to give him a day off yesterday. We've worked today. We work tomorrow. We go to Birmingham and by whatever way we have to do it, 
love it to be fluent and free flowing and, and very emphatic. But realistically, at five o'clock, if we've got four points on the board, then I don't care how we've done it. Then we can go into the international break and build again. Just little steps, just little, little steps. And the last one from me. Uh, when you bought Nick Powell, you said he was one of the um, people that you wanted. He was one of your number one targets. And he hasn't been in the last couple of squads. Is that tactical, or is he injured, or is it just? He's, the he's, he's, got? he's still not quite 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 right. You know, we've brought him back, and and we haven't pushed him because it's we know with Nick's history and and so on, it's it's difficult to push him yeah, in, in that way because we want him breaking down again. Um, but he's not quite been there, so to put him into an intense game and Leeds is not a place or more away to go in half-hearted so we, we haven't been able to so basically we'll we'll see how he is it'll be a real tough call for the weekend but hopefully by the end of the international break he'll be back and have had a, a real a, a good time training as well